Hey guys, uh, welcome back. And today, of course, I'm back on my leash and chain. The car man is back under control because the car woman is here. The, the big <laughs> cheese is behind the camera, so there won't be no acting up today. That's what I was told. Anyway, uh, so today, what are we going to talk about? We are going to talk about changing the transmission fluid on a 2000 Volkswagen. Actually, how to fill it. Or if fill people, it. It seems to be a question. Uh, not a real good video out there on how to actually fill this um there probably is i just haven't seen it so i decided i'd make one because you know that's how y'all that's how i roll um so what, what's some myths and rumors about this let's talk about them real quick there's all kinds of little questions out there first let's talk about what kind of oil to use well it's not oil first of all transmission it's called fluid. automatic transmission <laughs> fluid yeah right and I think the interesting thing was when I went online to look up these fluids, well, one, the one that we actually purchased um, is the one that we decided to go with, but um, Volkswagen actually wants yeah. you to bring it to the dealership they, just to well, top your they fluid do, off. And they also recommend, they, they say that their fluid is guaranteed for a life, or it's good for life, but what they really fail to tell you, it's really only the life of the warranty. They by no means mean that oil will not break down and will not go bad because it most certainly will. Yes. Now, in 2003, whenever this thing was built, technology was at one level, but now here it is 15, 10, 15 years later, and the technology and transmission fluid has changed drastically. So, um, I'm using Valvoline Max Life, the full synthetic. That's what you've got to have in this is a full synthetic. There's probably three or four different versions you can use. You can get the Valvoline at $7 a quart, or you can get all the way up to the factory OE stuff at about $20. Uh, and I think they sell that by the liter. I mean, it's tit for tat. I guess if you plan on keeping your car for the next 100,000 miles and you are not going to change the oil in it, I'd probably spend the $20. If you're going to be religious and change your transmission fluid like you should, I'd probably just go with the uh, $7 stuff. It's fully synthetic. I personally feel, feel like it'll last just as long, but I would never run a car with 100,000 miles without changing its transmission fluid, period. And doesn't that actually have a mention of Volkswagen on this? Yeah, and port? this is actually, you can tell any of them that you're out there, it's going to have Let's see if we can back. get that. Just so they know, Let's see if we clear up a little bit. Okay. All right, so The very cool. bottom one. Yeah, very cool. So it's, it's definitely got the Volkswagen. And, um... So, first thing you have to do, the car's going to have to be running and park, and um, and as you see, it's got to be completely level. I went ahead and put it on four jack stands, or all the exact same thing, and the reason is, is because the way the settings are on it, uh, it's, it kind of works off of being level. Unlike most cars, I think they kind of over-engineered this, but, you know, whatever. So, um, it's sitting level, it's on four jack stands, completely safe. Now the reason we want it completely safe is we're getting ready to crank this car up. Now I've already had it running a few minutes just to save on the video. Uh, the, you want the temperature of the fluid about 100 degrees, thereabouts. Um, probably pretty much kind of like jacuzzi water for all of you out there that are the hot tubs uh, people. But um, anyway, so we want the engine warm and then we're going to um, we're going to have it at idle and um, then that's how we're going to add the fluid. So here's the tools you need. I would get me a, uh, the, oh, this particular car didn't have the dust shield on the bottom, so I'm sure it's a T20 or T25 to take that off. Whoa, gotta be quick. <laughs> gotta be quicker than that. Look at me, I'm putting my life in danger. Well, what? if he comes after the camera girl, this little sucker's going on pause. <laughs> Thank God that I'm also a ninja in my other life. <laughs> anyway, so you're gonna need a five millimeter Allen head that they'll take off the cap on the bottom. Get your little flathead screwdriver. That's how we're going to pop it, uh, the fill hole. And then you might have to rig you up a little, uh, a little contraption because basically you're going to take this thing and just kind of beat it down through here. I'm just going to take it, and send it right down here, right by the fan, and hopefully I can. When I get down to the other side of the fence here. We'll see kind of where we ended up. So that's all you need for the top. I'm getting ready to start it, go underneath it, and um, I'm going to take the camera with me, guys. And, and they uh, do leave their car running when they're yeah, adding it. Yeah, you're going to want to make it running, and uh, 
and then park. You want it park and running. And that's going to cause the uh, suction of the pickup to be where it's supposed to, everything's supposed to be right and the starter's supposed to line up and everybody's supposed to be happy. Are you happy, camera lady? I'm happy. All right, you're happy. All right, let me start it up, put it on pause, and we'll show them underneath. All right. Okay, so I went ahead and pulled the cap off that's on the fill tube. I'm going to show you its exact location. But notice it's got two O-rings on it. I mean, they're everyone I've ever pulled, they are always reusable. But if you wanted to, you could pull them back. It's also going to have a little red. Um, this one didn't, but it's supposed to have a little, it looks like, they call them child safety things. That everybody jokes about it. But it's a little plastic band, a red one that goes around it. You take your screwdriver, just pop it off. Mine doesn't have it or I'd show it to you. Um, anyway, so the next thing I want to kind of tell you, See, here's the problem when a country boy tries to explain how stuff works. We have to try to make it really, really simple. That way we understand, and somehow I can make you understand. Which you probably won't understand, but I'm still going to try to make you understand. If you understood any of that, guys. Shut up. So you have the pan, and on the pan, the bottom of the pan, there's a drain hole. What... When you typically take a drain hole loose or you take a plug out of a drain hole, you expect everything in that pan just to fall out, right? Yes. Not on Volkswagen. Volkswagen has a tube and it goes up from that drain hole and it comes up to about yay high. And basically what they're saying is when the fluid gets high enough over that tube is when it will come back down. So when I take this plug out, if nothing drains, then I know that I'm low. Okay, and in that case, I'm going to add some fluid up at the top and I'm going to sit down there and watch and what I'm going to have the camera on is her adding this and telling her when to stop so you'll know or have a real good idea of um, you know how to know when you have enough. And basically a lot could come out then it starts dripping when it drips, game over, put the plug on, it's done. Alright, so let me climb under here and get to work. Okay guys, and since we didn't get a real close up picture of him putting this funnel just wanted to give you an idea of the area I know that's not the greatest picture but an idea of the area where it's going to be headed and he's down underneath the car now so I'm gonna pass this out to him okay guys I'm gonna try to show you real quick As you can clearly see where the drain hole's at in reference to the rest of the car. Now on the back side you see where the wet spot is at. Okay, boss lady, can you add us some fluid please? If you guys notice, here it comes. You see that coming through there? By the way, guys, let me tell you what. Um, okay, stop. We want this just to kind of go down to a drip. How much did you put in? Uh, not quite half. Okay, there's a nice little drip. I think it's pretty close to being a drip now. Um, okay guys, so that's what you do. Now we're gonna put the plug back in. And by the way, it's a five millimeter. That's all it is to it, nothing to it guys. Um, just get you a five millimeter Allen wrench. And as you can see now, hold on a second later. Yeah, that's fine right there. I think we're calling that okay. All right, guys. Hang on. Man, it just caught my reflection. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, are we on? Yeah, we're on. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Um, so... <laughs> guys, looking at the book, it says to... Um, the concept behind this, it's a level adjuster. 
So basically the vehicle's got to be level. You take the plug out, make sure it's dripping like it's supposed to. Um, they recommend every 30,000 miles. So you change your fluid and it's got a cleanable, a cleanable, is that a word? Cleanable? Yeah, for we'll you. A cleanable? All right. Yeah. So it's got a cleanable transmission filter. Do yourself a favor. It's quick and easy. Use the Valvoline, seven bucks a round. It doesn't take a lot of effort to get it done and it's worth it. And just like this video and all the other videos, this is designed to save you money today and help a brother out or a sister, a sister or a brother out. That's right. What do we want to tell them, dear? I mean, boss, <laughs> baby, honey, what? sunshine. I want to tell them to subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel. Besides, where are you going to find a guy that's good looking? Oh my gosh, cars? this guy is a nut, as I'm sure you guys already know. Anyway, you said I was good looking. You are. Anyway, you are. Oh my gosh, it's okay. look at that. No, just it's okay. Oh my gosh, and no, we want you fine. to subscribe to our channel. We want you to be no, really on the lookout no, for really our website. Guy which is currently under construction and being built. Lots of great tips for you. That's okay, the car woman will take this video you over. See how hard I worked on my hair today? I know. It looks good, don't it? It does. And we wanna tell you to support your troops. Um, think about adopting your very own soldier today for free. Just go to Homefront Hugs USA. I'm the representative for Virginia. Uh, they are great organization non-profit awesome organization guys i mean we don't really talk about them enough we tried to plug them every time we have a thing but it was kind of cool the other day we opened up uh or jennifer got one letter in the mail got where was he stationed at iraq he was in iraq man hadn't heard from nobody and god knows how long sitting there there's only so much you can do inside the quarters you know and he gets this little thing and what'd you send him well i sent well this particular one I sent him, he had his birthday, and I sent him some Hostess cupcakes and some Twinkies and a lot of goodies and some little birthday party plates. Guys, you know how it is, man. When you're away from home, eh, and I mean any little piece of home makes you feel a lot better. So think about these guys. And, I, and Homefront Hugs also supports our veterans, wounded and disabled in That's hospitals. Right. Um, they've got programs for your kids to get involved with. They can make cards that really, really will brighten these guys' day. Yeah, we do. And it costs uh, nothing except postage. Yeah, that's exactly what it costs, postage. Big whoop. Anyway, I hope this video saves you a ton of money so you don't got to pay the dealer and you take $5 of that and support one of these veterans. Meanwhile, peace out. See you on the next one, baby. Subscribe.